welcome to all of you the goddess worship the goddess worship is the most powerful the most uh, ancient worship that got abandoned down the road and when i say the goddess i mean that she is a person or several persons there are several goddesses and we don't have the ability to see them and that's the problem the term goddess is a little uh not quite misleading but doesn't give us a lot of understanding of what who she is but if we use a sanskrit term for the goddess then it's more uh, profitable for us because it gives a lot of understanding about what the goddess is especially for us who are living in the science and the scientific and technological uh, era with us scientific and technological processing mind in sanskrit the goddess is called chit the god is called sat the goddess is the beginning of the beginnings the god did not create the world according to this uh, indian goddess tradition the god did not create the world the man god or the male god the goddess was responsible for creation that's why the goddess is so important for us because we all need creativity and productivity in this time and uh, she is called chit and all those of you who have been following me i have taught uh, about chit as a supreme consciousness chitta is the mind and if you think with the mind that you are polluted by uh, the human conditionings by the oxygen that uh, we are breathing and the electromagnetic force we are subjected to and the oxygen the electromagnetic force are responsible for our <coughs> limited consciousness body mind everything to go beyond that <coughs> is to contact the goddess who is chit the human mind is called chitta the divine mind is called chit and chit is the goddess the goddess created it the universe so if you want creativity you have to go to the chit who is the goddess just look at it from the perspective of the creation the creative process our procreation and then the resultant formation of the uh, uh, the construction embryo and it forms who is responsible for us for the, the goddess so he she knows how to create not the male energy whether that it is human male or a divine male like god no they cause it but then the actual creation is in the domain of the goddess or the woman or the feminine and it knows how to transform energy into matter and the whole process takes place within the womb that's why in ancient time the worship of the goddess was the worship of the womb even today in india and other places too the womb is worshiped as the goddess which is the creative process creativity is worshiped and that is a mystery that is giving life and somehow we have to get into that mode of awareness or consciousness in order to create 
So during this uh, period, starting from mid-October for nine days, to engage in transforming our consciousness. If you are going to use your mind to contact God without getting into this a divine state, which is also within us. In other words, Chit, which is the goddess, and Chitta, which is the mind, they are related. You have to move from the Chitta to Chit. And the changes will happen. So the goddess is higher intelligence, particularly the creative intelligence which is in the womb. There is in the Mahabharata, this woman, uh, Kunti, who is a queen, and she was given a blessings from a guru who visited the palace and gave mantras to have immaculate conception through the most powerful beings, the sun god. So she could use the sun god's mantra and become pregnant and then have a baby. Karna is his name. Or the king of gods in the heaven is Indra. And she, she was given a mantra to do that. And she had a son. And he was Arjuna who to whom the Bhagavad Gita was taught by Krishna. The one thing that I will teach during this period is how we disrespect time. And all our money problems are due to disrespect time and the goddess is very upset with, with the disrespect shown to time how do we disrespect time we don't care we just want to have fun in the name of you know indulging in unconscious thinking unconscious activities resulting in the insult of time. If you insult time, you insult money because my, there is a very close relationship between money and time. Everybody is paid for time. And time in, decides everything, including the presidency, is ending now. But because the time is ending. And how can you understand time better through the goddess? Hmm? Time is responsible for manifestation. That's why it takes 10 months time. But a divine child can be born in a fraction of a second. Instantaneous manifestation is possible. And that is the goddess Varahi and Bala. Varahi is the boar uh, headed uh, goddess. And she moves faster than light. Bala also moves faster than light. Uh, it would be 350,000 miles per second. What does that mean? If you have that kind of consciousness, which is controlled by the goddess, then you would not want to wait at the end of the month to get paid. So, Bala, is a nine-year-old goddess and and she 
and varahi they move at a tremendous speed and they are goddesses that who can do miracles bala who do miracles and so uh, is varahi a goddess is being revived now so being a woman is not a disgrace or anything being a woman is to be very very powerful the man always is dependent on a woman he wants to prove to only one person to win the hands of a woman who he likes and he is very powerless in front of the particular woman why because he knows that the power comes from her it is the womb chakra the womb chakra has never been taught it not that the knowledge was not there it was there and it was jealously guarded and this is the time that i have been uh, given the responsibility to take care of the uh task of bringing I have been tasked with bringing the new goddesses as well as the old goddesses which i have been revealing or correcting a misunderstanding about the old goddesses the reason why most people are not able to manifest is because deep down there is doubt deep down there is negativity and the negativity is due to not only you but your father mother their grand their father mother great 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 grandpas great great grandmas we have their soul they have a lineage hmm? we go to the royal family of england they they can't even conceive of poverty at all we have to be disabled to think of poverty worse to exhibit and experience poverty that's why my definition of poverty is a disease of the mind and it can be corrected and who is going to correct the goddess bala the 9 year old goddess and who destroys literally negativity she was created to destroy negativity because there was a demon who said who would not be killed by yeah uh, like a king or a, a god or or he gave a list of people who could not kill him he left out a young girl so the goddess stripped him so she became a young girl there is no young girl in your list because you thought that you won't be killed by a young girl so she came became an young girl that is bala and killed him and established incredible uh, life for human beings then there is varahi she is the also the goddess who gives incredible wealth and also kills negativity why goddesses because we need divine intervention we need somebody to hold our hand with their great intelligence with their knowledge to foresee what is going to happen we need wealth to the end of the earth you know 
and we think deep down even to think of it oh my god i don't need this. the end of the world as the earth now the end of, as my inheritance the end of the earth the oh the there is negativity you can't even conceive of a million dollar why there is conceptual constraints the you know my rule my rule is you cannot manifest that which you cannot conceive so what is the stumbling block here chitta the mind and who is going to remove that the goddess and how the goddess can be lived within your body how she raises your kundalini raising the kundalini is key that goes through all the goddesses uh, body kundalini herself is a goddess kundalini is the prana the life force that is dormant now awakening the kundalini will transform your consciousness so all that you, you know it's very very easy to transform your life only one thing is needed commitment if we remain more alert and alert and alert and conscious and not even a, a stupid thought even by mistake enters your mind and that is god the goddess the goddess will guard you will give you the teach you the principles of time way you know remember one of my favorite teach uh, appo- affirmation is waiting is a waste of time what are you waiting for waiting to make money for after 5 years no if you want anything and everything it should happen now now is the only reality when i when we say that the mind says no now nothing is going to happen maybe tomorrow it may happen but not now why not because you do not know what is now now escapes your understanding now i'll tell you now i will tell you now what is now and the now is timelessness it is neither the past nor the future nor the present it is a timeless moment now what is it like look like or how, what is the experience going to be it is free from thought you will forget that you are here you will forget that you have a body you will forget that you have a mind and that consciousness is the goddess consciousness the woman is the creatress the womb the time in the womb is where you learn where you can learn to create matter out of energy the goddess will give you that knowledge where you will not be carried away by the world of maya but you at the same time you will not lose maya i have just already given you a technique to be in touch with the goddess i have told you what what this time and how is time is the womb chakra and all these things 
stay in that consciousness and prepare yourself to accept the goddess's descent when it happens in mid october so today i usually end my talk with saying god bless now this time i will say goddess bless